historic main event of the evening, 12 rounds of boxing in a battle of undefeated world champions and superstars of the sport for the undisputed welterweight championship of the world. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's showtime! The time we've all been waiting for. Al Bernstein, take us through the tail of the tape for this titanic tussle. Well, when you look at these numbers, the numbers are not radically different. But the key thing is that both men, for long... The old president and supervisor, Francisco Valcarcel, and the IBF president and supervisor, Daryl Peoples. Along with the Nevada State Athletic Commission, the chairman is Anthony Marnell, the third executive director. And once again, a referee in charge, Harvey Doc, now to give instructions. All right, Box, you received your instructions earlier. As a reminder, obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Touch your mouth. Good luck. Harvey Doc assigned this mega main event, 19 years pro experience, the 336th professional bout. In the ring, Errol Spence is a merciless interrogator, extracting confessions with his unyielding punches, incredible pressure, and vicious body punching. For Terrence Bud Crawford, a master of his craft, a style, a blend of artistry and brutality, with his mesmerizing switch hitting style, razor sharp reflexes, counters, and a childlike joy when it comes to hurting his opponents. The bell and And immediately Crawford starts as the southpaw against the southpaw Spence. Spence has faced only two southpaws in his pro career. A win over Emmanuel Lardy in October of 2013 and an eighth round knockout of Chris Van Heerden in September of 2015. And in his five most recent fights, Crawford has fought 77% southpaw. Just expected. We're, we're seeing the, uh, the the pressure from Spence, calculated pressure, and, and Crawford. I mean, I thought he was going to start boxing, but he's doing a fine job right now of trying to figure out what uh, Spence is going to do, and more than anything, try to counter punch. Spence builds everything behind that jab. One of the most fundamentally sound fighters in the sport, and Terence Crawford. Well. He's just one of a kind in terms of what he's been able to accomplish in his career and the way that he has done it. These two are capable of fighting any style, any range, any way, Al, but Terrence Crawford, the ability to make the adjustments on the fly without even thinking, just having the instincts to do the right thing, incredible. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, when you talk about it, there's Spence going downstairs to the body. Spence normally throws a lot more punches than Crawford. He averages 69 per round to 47 points. So we're going to see how that goes. And the other key thing here is early rounds, you would have expected maybe Spence to do better in his fights. Crawford tends to give away some early rounds. We'll see. Spence used to fast start, high output. Crawford, yes, likes to collect that information in yeah. the first couple of rounds. But against Spence, Abner. Yeah, way more pressure from Spence, aggressiveness. I mean, we're seeing that jab. At moments, you know, we see the counter-punching from Crawford, but it's the Spence uh, jab that's doing the effect right now, or is having the effect. And thus far, though, in his career, even here at 147, and again, against Spence, he is tasting, a, we mentioned, one of the biggest physically imposing welterweight champions ever, but Crawford can turn a fight with one punch. And, but here's the pressure. Spence cornering Crawford. The jab, the shot to the body, there's the counter, left from Crawford, Crawford, an expert counter-puncher. We talked about the counter-punching that Crawford was going to try to do, especially when Spence, if he tried to overreach, and he did there, and Crawford was able to counter-punch. 